want to spend just a few minutes explaining what really a technical SEO audit is. And you see a lot of websites provide a technical SEO audit. And what it does is it just looks through your website and flags a few issues, but it doesn't really give you the nuance or the context of what matters. You get a lot of red flags, and you end up spending ages chasing ghosts for things that just don't move the needle because those pages don't matter. So when you get someone who actually understands SEO, what do they do differently? Well, first up, they can have a look at what your competition is doing. You've got to remember that SEO isn't a vacuum. You're not just looking to build your own website up. You're looking to improve in comparison to your peers. So let's just say, for example, a common one is page speed. People spend a lot of time focusing on page speed. They might have a category page or a collection page that requires filters. It might have upselling features. It's got numerous payment gateways running through that page. All of those things will have an impact on your page speed. But if you look at your page speed score number just on its own, you think, oh, God, it's terrible. It's 40. But that doesn't matter because your competition might be on 30, 26, 39. And it just may be that in order to have that level of functionality, you just have to wear that. But when you go on the website and you, you pick your phone up as a user and you just have a look through and you go, OK, loads in a second. That's fine. People spend an awful lot of time on page speed performance. And that came from early data that said if you increase your website's page speed, you improve your conversion rate. But you've got to remember that's based on websites from 10 years ago, 12 years ago, when they were exceptionally slow. So improving a very slow website to a reasonably quick website would have made a difference. But improving a reasonably quick website to a slightly quicker website it's not going to make a great deal of difference for the amount of money you might invest in it. So it's really important to have a look at how things are across your whole sector. That's what we do when a human does a technical SEO audit. So what else do we do beyond just doing the standard report? We break down things that could actually move the dial, things that could make a difference. We build a priority-led roadmap. We're not here just to get more clicks. We're here to get more revenue. So we have a look at that website and we go, right, if we do these three things, nothing else really matters that much. Let's prioritize those things. And that's important for you because you don't want to spend your money chasing fixes that don't need to happen. You want to focus on the things that matter. So you can end up saving money by doing a proper audit because you're only going to do the work based on what needs to happen. So we'll put together a roadmap for you. We'll put together the priority of those items, annotate the guidance as to what they all are. We'll run a consultation call beforehand to find out what does matter to you and we'll run a call afterwards to go through all of the things that we've done on that audit in terms of identifying where the real problems lay. If you want to go a step further we do international auditing so that means seeing how your website looks on an international level from hreflang, does the wrong domain appear for the wrong language searches and all the problems that go with that and then we can take it one step further and we can do full retrospective so that means we work alongside your developers or whoever's doing the work if you don't want to use us we can do it as well and we can act as product owner product manager and make sure that all of those items have been implemented correctly spotting any errors spotting any mistakes jumping on scrum calls just consultation calls or however you need it to be done to make sure that that work does actually get implemented. That's really what makes us different from something like SEMrush or Hrefs and just a downloaded report. It's all about adding the external context, the nuance and looking at the comparisons for the peers in the sector as well. I'm David. I've been doing SEO now for over a decade. Small companies, big companies, public companies you'll have heard of. So if you'd like to get me looking over your website, drop us a message, get in touch on the web chat and we'll see what we can do.